He's an ex-policeman turned pet detective who focuses his time on saving lost or stolen cats, but he couldn't do it alone. Colin Butcher and his dog Molly work as a team to reunite missing pets with their worried families. And I'm delighted to say the pair uh, join me on the sofa now. Hello to you, Colin, and Hi. hello to you, uh, Molly, who's really the star of the show here, I should say, uh, Colin. So, so how did it all begin? You were a police detective and you decided to turn your attention to animals? Yes, uh, I'd always, always got animal cases when I was in the police. And, bless you, sweetie. Yeah, um, the thing with Molly was uh, we needed to have a more effective way of finding missing and lost cats. So the best apprentice to bring in was a working Cocker Spaniel. So what is it about Molly that makes her the, the best sidekick for you? I've worked with dogs all my life, lots and lots of working dogs, and her focus is incredible. I mean, look at her now, I mean, she sees people moving around. Yes, and as she came into the studio, she was very alert and aware and sniffing around. Yeah, so her focus is second to none, but she's also very, very personable. Um, her ability to connect with people, which is important when we are out doing investigations, that she helps to bring the anxiety down that people are feeling when the pets are missing. So tell us about some of those investigations. How do you get your work? Who calls you and what is it for? Well, we get calls from people that um, have got missing cats, missing parrots, dogs. Her, her, Molly, shh, shh, shh. her area of specialisation is obviously cats and she's quite hungry at the moment. There you go. Deserving um, of a treat, I yeah. think. Yeah. So um, essentially what we're doing is we're a team. I bring the investigative skills and she brings this amazing nose. And between the two of us, we're helping owners find uh, their missing and lost cats all over the country, from as high as Scotland all the way down to Cornwall. Um, you've written a book, Molly and Me, and in it you tell some pretty remarkable uh, stories. What are the most memorable for you? Um, we did one on the Thames, which was an incredible investigation where um, uh, the owners contacted us to say that we, they wanted us to help find the cat's body. It had fallen off the, the river barge and they were sure it would have drowned. But all cats can swim. Mm. Um, and they didn't realise this. So it was more a case of finding out where the cat had swum ashore. And we were in the village of Hurley, which is just down from Henley. Um, and we searched for three days and eventually the, the little cat had turned up underneath for a caravan on the, the river Hurley, uh, on the River Thames. And that's where um, she found it and recovered it, so it's quite a sweet recovery. There have been some scrapes uh, along the way and some worrying times for you. Um, Molly getting bitten by a snake yes. on one occasion. Yeah, I, I talk about that in the book, how traumatic that was for me because she got hit in the chest by a full-grown adder twice, which is very, very rare. Paralysed, it was an emergency trip to the vets. Um, and, of course, I'm looking at a future where maybe she wouldn't be around. So I'm experiencing what so many other pet owners had experienced. But after three weeks, she made a full recovery. But it was touch and go for a while. And back to work. One of the other stories <laughs> that, that I particularly enjoyed was her, her finding the treasure trove of jewellery uh, in Hampstead, was it? Oh, that was an amazing time. We, we were up there. Actually, on that occasion, we were trying her on looking for a missing dog that we felt was trapped in a fox surf. And she just deviated off into the woods. And she has the ability that when she's looking for missing cats, she also will pick up on the human scent of the owner. Um, so she detected human scent in the woodland, started tunnelling and then ripped out this uh, velvet bag. And in it was all these pearl necklaces, gold rings, diamond rings. <laughs> she won't saw them. That's why it's Molly and me, because... She's saying, hey, don't forget me. Don't forget about me. I am the star here. Um, one of the stories we've been talking about today is, is the health warnings about affection with dogs and, and the impact that that can have on health and antibiotic-resistant bug, bugs. I wonder what you make uh, of that, Con. I, I've, I grew up in Malaysia and Singapore, mm. and I've been exposed to animals, rescue animals, cats, dogs, all my life. And my health is great. I don't have any allergies, and I think... Um, it doesn't hurt to have what they bring into the home at a young age because you build up your own immunity. Um, and perhaps sometimes... Molly, come here, come here, sweetie. <laughs> perhaps sometimes we're a little bit too uh, precious on our environments that we live in. Mm. Um, I think that um, they bring so much more good than they do anything else. And you two make a formidable team. Colin and Molly, thank you both very much indeed. I think Molly's deserving of another treat. Yeah.